Today we're talking about patio homes out here in the Roanoke area and keeping the aesthetic of the neighborhood and creating a beautiful sunroom. Alicia and Jeremy tell us more in today's Your Home. Bringing the outdoors in is what we're showcasing today on Your Home. I'm Jeremy and this is Alicia and we're with FNS Building Innovations. Today we're showcasing a project that is in a development. Um, if you live in an area that has restrictions and HOA requirements, FNS can help with that. We're very used to uh, working through those requirements and making sure we can get you the project that you want um, that also meets those uh, restrictions. This particular project, they wanted to bring a room all the way across the back so that they could see the outdoors, enjoy the birds, and they had a setback that they couldn't meet, so we set the room back a couple feet and added this charming little porch to the front of the patio. Why don't we go inside and talk to Mr. Bainton himself and see what he has to say about the sunroom. So we are here with Mr. Bainton, the owner of this space. Mr. Bainton, can you tell us what made you decide to go with FNS for your project? Uh, as I mentioned, um, the, the chemistry just seemed to be uh, very good between uh, the representatives of FNS and myself. Uh, when they approached me, they didn't use any high pressure tactics, just realism, uh, pleasant chat, uh, direct numbers, uh, no evasive comments, and uh, I appreciate straightforward relationships like that. So are you enjoying this space? What do you use it for? Well, we dine here frequently. Uh, we entertain out here. We've had a number of parties in here for our neighbors and friends. And uh, we have, the, of course, outlets, electrical outlets, so we can make coffee out here. We can even use, uh, you know, portable frying pans and things like that. But anyway, we've used it extensively for entertaining as well as dining ourselves and with friends. Well, good. I know you shared with everybody at FNS that you came into contact with um, this book that you wrote. Yeah. It's called The Handbook of Small Business. Yes, ma'am. You want to tell folks a little bit about your book? Well, sure. I will be happy to. Yes, this, uh, this book uh, has been uh, developing in my mind for many years. And I finally decided after the passing of my beloved wife uh, several years ago, I said, you know, in her memory, I'm going to produce the book that I've been going to uh, do. And I found a self-publishing organization called Ex Libris. And it has 90 chapters, uh, eight appendices. And each, 90, each of the 90 chapters are arranged alphabetically. And they're from one to three pages long. So it's really bullet points, and uh, it's uh, probably as uh, good of a uh, condensation of business uh, ideas and suggestions as any book that has ever been published. Wow. I can agree. I've read quite a few of those chapters myself, and they are very short and give you some really good information. Thank you. So we appreciate you sharing the book with us, and we appreciate that you allowed us to come and, and work on your home. Oh, not at all. It was a pleasure. The, the, the people that worked here were just fine people. Uh, and uh, having been a craftsman myself, uh, and I, I just realized that uh, these people have talent and skill did a nice job. They didn't compromise on any of the materials or their work, and the completion was excellent. Well, thank you, Mr. Bain. We appreciate that. If you need a sunroom or any other work done, whether residential or commercial, FNS Building Innovations can help. Their number 540-985-9160, also online at fs4seasons.com and they're on Facebook. From home renovations to cleaning your home, and it's surprising to know, but the air we breathe in our homes can be like five times dirtier than the air outside. So today we're talking to Isaac Flanagan about air filters, and you did a recent survey. Tell us about that. It was very eye-opening, actually. We found that 58% of Americans don't know how often they're supposed to change their air filter, and 24% live in a home where the air filter has never been changed. So how often should we be changing our air filters? At a bare minimum, once every three months. The Department of Energy informs us that you can save up to 15% on your energy bills by changing them at least that often, so that's the beginning. And then if you think about issues and topics like allergies, asthma, 
upper respiratory conditions, uh, the presence of young children or the elderly or pets in the home, or if you have smokers or any other nearby source of um, ambient air pollution, uh, then we'd recommend you change them at least every two months if you have one of those things. And if you have more than one of the items on the checklist, probably monthly. What type of allergens end up in our filters? Well, it's not the most pleasant list, but we're talking about things like dust, pet dander, mites, skin cells, hair follicles, pollen, that's a big one for all the allergy sufferers out there, smoke, um, the list goes on. So obviously a lot of yucky stuff ends up in our filters. Why don't you think people change them more often? It comes down to three things, and far and away, number one is simply forgetting to do it. Number two, folks often don't know how often they're supposed to change them. And number three, um, folks often don't know what's, what kind of air filter they need. So now the million dollar question, why is it important to change our air filters? Well, the EPA tells us that indoor air is often up to two to four times as polluted as outdoor air, and in some extreme cases, as much as 100 times more polluted. So uh, I know we've all spent a lot of time and energy thinking about the outdoor air, but we want to make sure the indoor air is just as clean. In addition, it's very important for health reasons. Um, it can cut down on your energy bills. And uh, something we don't often think about enough, it can actually prolong the life of your um, heating and cooling equipment. Canopy has a subscription service. Tell us about that. So Canopy's uh, new home wellness startup focused uh, primarily on health and convenience. So our subscription service is designed to make your home healthier by sending you the Canopy air filter on a schedule exactly when you need it. You give us five minutes to set the subscription up and we'll send you clean air for life. So if you go to canopyair.com, you can see our instructional videos, educational content, articles, and sign up for a subscription right away. Thanks, Isaac, for the advice, and we'll be right back.